just to get it softened up so when I put this on here I can put it on quick and that didn't work oh, I got a bunch of them here that have fallen down a bunch of victims that have fallen off on this vise this is probably the most painstaking part of it getting all these grab irons on oops this is the most painstaking part got my thumb in there hold it in place a little bit there kinda stuck is that glue still? No. Alright. Let me go do this again. Of course I'm trying to demonstrate it and uh, I think it's a workable idea and then of course when I'm actually in the middle of demonstrating it, it doesn't work. Well, maybe it isn't such a cool idea after all. Either well, way you slice it, putting grab irons on is a pain. do I do a two-fold attack least favorite part putting a model together is well I'm gonna have to do some judicious editing here because this is just failing left and right it's just failing my attempts at doing this are just bombing dreadfully. Alright. Uh, Alright, I've got it in place. I did a little dabbing there. So we've got... can now maneuver this other end of the grab iron over the hole where it should go. Maybe try to get it in the hole, but never, I've never, haven't been that successful. So anyway, I kind of get it to where I think it should be and give it a little dab over on this side and that'll that'll weld it in place so that'll keep this from going anywhere put a little bit extra on there so yeah so when you get down to something this small unless you've got eyes of Superman that you may notice that the grab iron isn't exactly fitting in the hole it's in the right location it's secured in place it's good enough modeling you know most people won't notice so uh, let me get the rest of these on um, and I'll show you the mostly more or less finished model you know it's just a matter of adding the weights to the bottom of it and then that's that so well, you'll be happy to know that uh, moment I shut the camera off, um, putting the grab irons on, started to go a lot smoother. So, I don't know, chalk it up to stage fright or what, but uh, I don't know how well you can see them. But those are the grab irons in their appropriate location. So, uh, I'm pretty much done uh, with the basic assembly of this uh car here and uh, actually uh, probably took uh, well, I don't know probably about two hours to get it all done even with uh, doing the grab irons it took about 20 minutes to do uh, but I did that off uh, camera so you wouldn't have to watch me um, get those things on so um, 
Next, uh, what I need to do is just uh, add some weights to the bottom. A couple of weights, uh, probably half more, half an ounce more uh, to get this weighted down a little more. And then uh, weathering, but I'm not going to um, get into that right now because um, I'm not too sure how I'm going to weather this. I probably need to look at some more uh, pictures of these kinds of cars just to see what how they are um, typically weathered um, in real life uh, before I take a shot at that. So uh, that's it for now um, for this uh blog on kid building. I um, hope, hope you haven't uh, scared you away. Uh, this is probably one of the more difficult scales to uh, do a kind of a kit build for a car and uh, HO should be a little bit uh, should be a little bit easier. At least the parts will be a little bit bigger to work with. So uh, if you've never tried this I highly recommend it. It will be, uh, you know, has its ups and downs but uh, in the end you will be rewarded with a nicely detailed looking car. So um, that's all I've got for now. Take care.